morning guys, good, good morning, welcome back to a brand new video, right, guys, I'm having a lovely day, whatever you guys are up to, so the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because you probably can tell already, your boy has done a little shave, guys, I've kept my goatee, which I'm not too sure about yet, but guys, my beard is so much better right now. Welcome to the video. I hope you guys are having a lovely day, whatever you guys are up to. So, fortunately, this vlog watching right now is actually an old Trafford video. But, I did not do any intro, I didn't do any talking throughout this video. What I wanted to do was talk while the footage is rolling. So, as whatever you see of this old Trafford tour, I'll be talking in the background. So, uh, so yeah, I'm here right now, starting the video, guys. So, before I get started with this, tour guys it's an old Trafford tour guys so if you guys are an old Trafford Man United fan then this vlog is for you your boy is a Leicester fan but guys I got a message from my mate saying I got a free old Trafford ticket uh, left for, for his birthday sort of thing and I thought it's too good of an offer to refuse to, to have a tour around old Trafford obviously I've been to Leicester City ground Trafford is the biggest stadium in the UK so here I am I'm at old Trafford tour guys so enjoy this video smash that like button subscribe if you're not already okay so you're back here when the tour has finished so please enjoy it guys let's go right now i am outside old trafford and one thing to say wow how flipping big Holding the entry ticket. Wow, we actually got in. Woohoo! <laughs> Here I am pulling my happy face. We made it in to Old Trafford. Soon as we walked into this room, I thought, wow, I wish Leicester won this many trophies. I'm very jealous right now. But we have time. Come on, Lester. So, it's very impressive. As you see, as I'm scrolling around on this screen right now, I can't count how many have won. Let me know in the comments how many Man United won. Before I show you this next bit, we are sat down in the actual stadium and oh my god, 70 plus thousand a game, the atmosphere must be insane. Check this out. To save the game I told you on my second album man it's still the same I got a lot of people hoping that I never change cause they find a little hope in all the things that I be saying so welcome to my paradise and all the things around it I used to feel alone but now I feel like I'm surrounded so thank you to my angels and the man that's up above and my only competition that artist that wore a glove I'm chasing legends so I guess I'm chasing heaven I'm placing bets and breaking odds and rolling lucky sevens shit I'm celebrating life so so pour a glass and have a cheers till I'm gone. I know my paradise is here. Yeah. Okay, I think you 
come, do take those pictures as well when you find the seat you want. Again, we are stood behind areas now that you can see as the match day pass. So we are now sat in the press conference room. This is where they do all the talking after or before the game. The post-match press room, by post-match I mean after the game. Pre-match press conferences occur at the training centre in Carrington. It's about nine miles away from Old Trafford. This is used for after the game. So where you're sat, this would be where your journalist would be. There are five seats in front of me. Generally the end seats are not generally filled, but the centre seat is where the manager goes. So as the away team manager first, and then we'll bring in the home team manager shortly after. The seats out the side of the manager belong to the press officers of either club. In front of you, you will see the dugouts. Now the dugouts are essentially where the subs and the managers sit. Left hand side is the away team, right hand side the home team. Running through the centre of the dugouts is the old tunnel. It's the only part of the 1910 stadium that's still here to this day. We are now in the dressing room. I see right now I am filming Harry Maguire's t-shirt and as you all know I'm a Leicester fan so before I get started let me show you this funny picture of me and Maguire's shirt. Room filled with Man United fans here's me doing Harry Maguire. <laughs> Hear that? The away team on the right hand side. Keep watching this clip, you'll see why I was on the right. Well, in the last few games, the winning team. Cardiff and Crystal Palace will tell you that. Anybody again, don't forget the left side is United, the right side is the away team. It's entirely your choice where you go. It's not mandatory, you don't have to. If you want to go on either side, we will be heading off down the tunnel so you get a great view. Come on, Yeah, I'm Leicester, mate. So everybody, as we make our way down, the red canopy you'll notice has been pushed back above your heads. That will be extended on a match day. The first two strips of grass are of the 3G nature, artificial grass. The real pitch starts just before the lines there. Uh, the starting 11 will make their way out onto the pitch. The remaining subs and uh, coaching staff will make their way down to the dugouts. We'll do that shortly. You'll also notice that the goalposts are removed back by two metres. So when we're treating the pitch, it's easier for the actual ground staff to work around uh, the pitch rather than going around the goalposts. If you're wondering what the flags are on the roof, they are a nationality of a first team internationally capped squad player here at the club. So if you've been capped by your country and you're in the first team squad, your flag should be up there, your national. <laughs> Jesus. Left side is the United, the right side is the away team. We'll give you some extra time here to take those all important photographs. It is your last opportunity to take those pictures today. So left side is the United team, the right side is the visiting team. You just get photos the seats however are identical, there is no difference. <laughs> But again, left side United, right side away team. We are joining. Anyway, forget all the funny stuff. What a stadium! Look at the size of it. 
If you're a United fan, you are so damn lucky. I like that, yeah. It's like jigsaw. Yeah, sort of. It's here. It's modern, isn't it? Yeah. It's there, yeah. Okay, yeah I won a certificate for completing the Old Trafford tour. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Time for the outro. Woo! So guys, there we are. There we have it. The Old Trafford tour. And what what do I have to say about this? It was so bloody big. I've been to the city grounds, as I said, it's compared to the city ground, it's a different class, guys. It's so damn big. I can't believe how big it was. Sitting in that stadium, guys, sitting in that stadium all on our own, no people around, it makes it it makes it look so bloody big, guys. So there, that is the tour of the old Trafford, and I hope you guys I have enjoyed this bloody video it's such a good video uh, if you have enjoyed it guys smash a like button subscribe if you're not already i can't believe how big it is it's incredible guys. guys enter this video right here stay in it positive keep your yeah, head held high keep pushing forward thank you for watching today's vlog next vlog after this one thursday's vlog something exciting is happening it's something to do with the ice cream franchise but i'm not going to tell you until you see the thursday's vlog but it's all kicking off guys it's it all kicking off so enjoy thursday's video and i hope you guys enjoyed this whole traffic video anyway guys good good and uh good night i'll see you in the next one Peace.